and I would like to present uh, a work uh, in the Incension Project, Behavioral States of People with PIMD. So probably the first question you, why is this not working? Oh, flag. <laughs> uh, so per, probably the first question you have is, what are people with PIMD? It means profound intellectual and multiple disabilities. So other disabilities as well as uh, mental, such as motor and sensorial impairments, uh, and coupled with severe health issues. <laughs> uh, the problem with these individuals is that each is unique. Well, it's usually the way with people, right? Uh, but they're uniquer than usually. <laughs> Uh, they're heavily reliant on caregivers, so <clears throat> this leads to severe insecurity for these people and uh, their lack uh, conventional symbolic uh, communication abilities, so their communication is not standardized as we would understand it. Come on. So, go. Okay. It looks good on my screen. <laughs> Goals of the work. Uh, uh, so, the project as a whole wants to allow these people uh, access to additional services, so digital to enrich their lives. Our current uh, part is to use the non symbolic communication signals to detect uh, their inner states and communication attempts and used the context of the interaction to try to find out what they like and dislike. So, for instance, people, uh, objects, uh, other things in the environment that needs changing. So, as our input, when we say the non-symbolic communication, we mean the movements of uh, facial expressions and uh, body, we mean vocalizations, and we're also using uh, <coughs> the PPG in our case uh, to detect their inner physiological signals. Uh, the context is uh, the environment, so based from the IoT information and uh, the object detection on the, from the cameras that are used in the project. So we train the data. Why does this look so bad? Uh, we trained uh, our models based on the data that was done uh, with annotations uh, and uh, used additional expert knowledge that was used uh, from the caregivers to describe what these people's capabilities are. Uh, in the further development, uh, most of these uh, what we call nonverbal expressions will be detected by other systems. So, how do we approach this uh, decision support system? First, uh, we have evaluated several uh, different possible approaches uh, to detect the inner states and the communication attempts. So, uh, we use standard machine learning, uh, two in-house developed methods, unique non-symbolic communication signals model, and valence-derived inner state model. And uh, we also developed a decision support system based purely on expert knowledge. And we're trying to augment the standard machine learning approaches with the expert knowledge. It's going to work again. Yeah, thank you. So for the standard uh, machine learning approaches, we tested several possibilities. Uh, the decision tree was uh, the best uh, from what we tested. The problem with that is it doesn't lend itself to use the expert knowledge easily and we would also, for standard machine learning for decision tree, this is actually possible to get the model that was created. Uh, but we would also like to change it if, we, for instance, the experts say this doesn't make sense that the model decides that uh, this movement is important because we know it's not. The unique non-symbolic communication tries to extract the non-symbolic communication signal that is unique for inner states. So, for instance, you would generally smile when you're happy. 
this isn't, doesn't hold true for all users. But uh, if we can find such symbols that to describe our inner states, we can use this to infer the state of the user. There are some problems with this, per, well, with, with using that, because there are many movements that don't actually mean anything with these people, right? There are movements that uh, are sort of just there and they can't really control it consciously. So we don't know if they actually mean something or not. Uh, come on. Thank you. The second approach is uh, the valence method, where we try to calculate the valence score of uh, each nonverbal communication signal uh, based on the annotations and uh, use that, the sum of those uh, valence scores, to detect the inner state. So from Using this method, we think that it will perform better with more observations uh, compared to the previous method that will, we don't think will work as well with, as, with more and more data. So the results are sort of optimistic. Uh, the, the pure expert knowledge didn't work uh, very well. We actually made some advancements since this graph was made, but it's still not nearly as good as it should be. This is the decision three is okay-ish and uh, sort of our methods provide better results but they do still need to be validated. Uh, so for the work, we do know that uh, people and objects can be good in indicators of the inner states. Uh, at this time the data set is sort of small and some objects, people are session-specific. Session so it's actually very hard to argue causality that because uh, this person is here at this time and this person is then happy, uh, the user is then happy. It's hard to argue causality that this is actually what's going on or that he was just happy the day that that person was there. Uh, we're sort of working still on using some uh, use of historical data so that we can sort of like uh, hidden Markov models to use that so that we smooth the decisions and have additional leverage on there. And uh, we are still waiting for the actual recognizers that will be automatic to decide these states from online uh, live basically so that the decisions can be provided online. Thank you. Any questions? Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I would like to point out, it looks good here. <laughs> Yes, uh, mm, or, yes, uh, okay. basically, yeah. And you skip the result quite quickly. So how, Sorry? how close do you come to Kertik's predictions? Well, uh, like what's your accuracy? Uh, yeah. Come on. So it actually depends on each user uh, and each state. The problem is obviously that some users have very few actual states uh, annotated. But yeah, based on this, you have like. 90% accuracy, for example. Yeah, some are very good. Yeah, but uh, we're sort of hard. I think it's overfitting. Yeah, small <laughs> <ones>. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, wait. Eric. Oh, never was